No words, only emotions. Check this out, guys. Gaining quick, only one week. What is going on, everyone? This is your boy Alex, Sport Faza, Stanimal. What's up, guys? This is our second episode of Road to Pro Card. We just got in. Actually, it's our second time. We were trying to get through two hours before, but management of the goals did not let us in, so we Too had to wait. Too traffic. Yeah, so <laughs> even us for filming such a huge project like Sport Faza, we still have to wait and be patient. So today was one of those days. Uh, we just got more food, that's fine. Yeah, actually, we went to a Mexican place, had some uh, wonderful meal, and now we're ready to go. Welcome, Welcome back. back. So yeah, we said uh, we need to improve his back, his upper chest and his arms. So we did arms the other day. Now we're going to do a back workout, focus on the up, uh, lower lats. And uh, next time we'll do some upper chest. Cool. But today it's back focus. And uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this really like starts to open up your back. When you pull down, I want you to turn your hands down like this. And squeeze and pull with your elbow. It's not easy to put yourself in this position, starting position, but then you feel it very good. Very good. Oh, oh, man. That's good. Work yeah, that's right. <laughs> How's your yeah. muscle beach? All good, brother. Uh, still all still remodeling, man. Next, still remodeling. Next year. Next, next, next year, year next man. Next year? What's supposed to be August? Ja right? January. September. It was supposed to be September, yeah. September. Yeah. But shit, man. You know, a good thing to feel like look homeless up. now. I mean, you know, <laughs> this okay. is my temporary home. <laughs> okay. I'm, a, I'm a gold gym foster child <laughs> until Muscle Beast gets reopened. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Can I shoot the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, here it's really important, like, not just pull on the side, but really, like, turn your your, your elbow forward to really. When you. you keep it like just Elbows like, forward. Yeah. When yeah. you have an arm like this. Just when you do this, you're gonna feel your lat just pop. Yeah. And that's, you get that stretch and then that squeeze. If you keep your elbow like this, you're gonna target your upper back, but not the lats. Yeah. The lats is attached from here and go all the way down here. It's like, that's exactly this movement that's gonna really kind of open up. We just need something to compare it to after we progress, so don't be so mad on me. Спасибо Игорю Вайтенко, кстати, который сейчас стоит за этим объективом. Самый дорогой оператор вообще всего Рутуба. Друзья, just do it, блин. Chest up and pull low. Keep your hand low. Yeah. There you go. Bring your elbow back. Right here. Right here. Nice. Nice. Good, good squeeze like that. When you stretch, breathe in. Yeah, right here. Good. Come on. Good, right? Yeah. <laughs> squeeze is extremely deep, guys. This version, you should give it a try. I used to do it standing. I kind of felt well too, but this version is even yeah. deeper. Well, after we're gonna do like this, with both hands. That's the next one. Okay. But this is gonna be more the Christmas tree. What I don't have. Yeah, it's gonna be more here. 
like the thickness in the middle here. Yeah, he was flat here last time. So we're trying to get this deeper here and here. So that's gonna do the next exercise. Right now we're like filling this part out. So we're gonna get the thickness all the way in here. What he said. <laughs> so the part that we're working on right now is this lower part of the laterals. I'm pretty sure it's not just me who's missing, who's lacking this lower part of the laterals. Most of us do. It's like upper chest. Usually people, when they do bench pressing, they concentrate on the middle and lower parts. Not so much in the upper part. Same thing with laterals. Lower insertions of laterals is the part that misses. So this exercise is hitting it, targeting it like, like in spot. Well, one thing I want you to do too is like during your workout, I want you to drink one scoop of BCAs and one scoop of EAAs together. 10 grams total. Why do we need to do that? Just to stay anabolic. По счастливой случайности у меня как раз с собой оказался MyProtein с БЦАками. Я даже не просил Стэна делать подводочку к рекламе. Черная пятница, ребят. Четверг, пятница, суббота. Самые адовые дни по распродаже. Ссылка в описании под этим видео. Промокод из ФАСа дает максимальную скидку. Выбирайте все, что вам нужно. Потом будете при а, чекауте в корзине промокод из ФАСа. И общая стоимость пересчитывается. My Protein, Black Friday. Ссылка в описании. Под пальцем. See these marks? It means that all blood is there. The whole thing is red, but when you touch it, there are like white spots. Mm -hmm. Blood. It means that we're doing it right. right? Yeah. At least you. <laughs> I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> it's gonna be heavy though. It'll be good for you. Quality over quantity. When you do it right, the strength will come. And like in two, three weeks, you do two plates, two and a half plates. But it doesn't matter to start now. If you do it right, the strength will come with the muscles. If you don't do it right, there's nothing's gonna happen. I kind of know that, but I'm just getting caught up with this, this challenging man to man. Uh, <laughs> I wanna keep up. <laughs> Lower than the waist, yeah. like to the hips. Yeah, it's really the trace machine we're doing here. We're, we're building the thickness right here. Now you stay straight. You don't round your back. Oh, right. When you go up, you lift your chest up and arch. Like when you do like like this. Last breath. Yeah. I'm gonna try this back. is gonna be can would be completely different oh yeah the only way you can feel this deep squeeze if you go light light what you think is light for yourself because you talk, especially like if it's a weaker body part it means literally it's weaker so it can carry less weight so if you're trying to do like heavy weight you're not gonna be isolate this part that's already weak so if you're able to do you know when you pull with your back you're able to do a certain weight if you want to target an area that's weaker you're for sure gonna have to drop the weight to fill it and engage it Otherwise, the other muscles that are stronger around, they're gonna take over the, the load. You're not gonna be able to target the muscle. Makes sense. as before we're targeting the lower lats so why I'm using a cable 
He's like, if you do with the, you know, rowing with the bar, you only have tension on the lats when you're like parallel to the floor, the gravity, right? Yeah. With this, you can have this stretch you forward and pull back and having your tension all the way. Get the stretch, not just down, but forward. So then you really open up the lats. And then when you pull, you get a full contraction. The more you stretch it and open up, the more fibers are firing. So this one is great because you only really open up your lats. And then you can really squeeze hard every part of the, from the lats. The second movement is just to target the upper mid bag here. We said we're not going to focus on it, but we're not going to just ignore it. So we're just pumping some blood there so we just stay there. Yeah, right here. Check this out guys, legendary Branco Colombo, one for the centuries. Picture that you took with Jay Cutler before and after. Yeah. How old were you? Uh, the first like time that. I was uh, 22 and the second 22. time I was like 29. Did you work out before like when you was taking this first picture? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. How many years? Like five years. Five years of working out. Yeah, because yeah, I started training in yeah, that was my face. It was different. Like, yeah, the person, even the face changed. <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> Not like getting old, like in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, you don't look like French no more. Uh, At that picture, you look like French. Like, yeah. yeah. so fast I can feel like first five reps and then it's just so we're gonna do another one that's more like to finish up to target the mid back too just to pump it but since you love it back hurts you're gonna do something else Wide grip, all the way down on the floor. Yeah. Elbows forward. Yeah. But I'm pulling behind the behind the hand. The thing is, like, when you push your elbow forward, it's gonna engage your lats. Yeah, that I noticed recently. That's why it's a good way to finish because you can target this and this. Just bring blood. plans where are we gonna compete you know this question is being asked all the time okay. well so, you know we just started working together so we don't know exactly you know how his, how his body responds and everything but I'm pretty confident we can do a really good job in three months but him being taller it's gonna take longer to fill out his frame so I'm thinking let's take a good six months to really build his physique I mean if we're ready sooner we're ready sooner if we're good we won't take the whole six months it's gonna be really a dramatic change and then from there it takes three months to dial down it will land us around August and then we pick something around August and we have in mind to like maybe do a one or two warm-up show and do the Olympia Amateur in Vegas. That would be a good idea, I think. Take the big title. I was thinking about some rough plans and uh, Stanima was being like very specific. Uh, specific championships and dates and time frames. I hope you guys patient enough to wait for this, like that long, but 
Uh, I, I share this opinion of Stan because it's uh, I want to bring something something good. I don't I don't want to be average. You know, getting ready for something and then be average for views on my YouTube channel. Yeah. I mean, the main thing is like in this course, you have to learn how to be patient. So you know, it might take a little longer with the results. But I'm patient course. enough. I'm just worried that uh, my followers are not patient enough. But we'll I, see. I think once you they, stick around. Enough. Six months is not long. It's not that long either. We got a lot of stuff to share with you. Anyway. I have a different thing. I think I have a different view of training, like about you know how to bring up body parts. So we don't talk more about this. And you know people are gonna see because we're gonna adapt as the body evolves. We're gonna change the priorities, and they're gonna understand. They're gonna be able to really see the whole philosophy behind my my approach. If we were just doing three months, we see maybe not even a quarter of it. You know, but if we take a good six months of bulking, it get us really get us a good time to like, see how I work and how I change priorities and. We reorganize exercise just to get the most out of, uh, out of our time. Let's say a few words about the uh, training splits, how we're going to do it. So it's uh, lower back, upper chest and uh, arms concentrating on the uh, outer head of the triceps. Yeah. So these three legs and body parts, how do I split them uh, during so my training? So right now, I guess it's the first month's working. I'm going to be leaving next week. So we're going to try to do a chest workout before he leaves. So these three body parts are covered. So then once I'm gone for about three and a half weeks, or let's say a month, he can start to train only chest, arms, and back. I don't want him to do anything else. Except if he's really extremely sore everywhere, then he can do a little bit of legs. But we're still doing men's physique, so legs are gonna come. We're gonna train them the next month. But right now we're gonna try to really focus and push all the growth toward those body parts. So all the food's gonna go there. He's gonna get better mind-muscle connection with his body part. So then next month we'll train the whole body this part, this body part is going to be able to grow even more. But when you train your whole body, you're going to be hungrier. So you're going to bring even more food. And those body parts are going to be primed. Because you've been training them and you've been connecting with them better. So they're going to be able to receive more of the nutrients you're going to push next month. So it's like a preparation phase, if you want. If you were to, build, to train your whole body right now, you will grow in the same proportion you always have. You're going to be a bigger version of you are, but you're not going to be improved. Because what's improvement is being able to bring lagging body parts. And to do that, you have to focus on them. And this is what you see on bodybuilding stage. You yeah. see the difference, you see the balance. You don't see the general uh, size. Uh, size. Yes, but the flow and the, the symmetry is the first two things, the most important. That's why Francis Benzpato, Bob Paris, Serge Dupre, those guys were looking amazing. They weren't that big. They just like flow really well together. You just have to be patient enough to train lacking parts and not train your favorite parts because yeah. what dominates usually you guys train it more in most of the cases i had big shoulders all the time because if i can train them all the time because i i, I just love to train them because when you train them you get a good pump usually you connect with the body parts that grow faster you connect well with them so you get a good pump and a good pump you know feels good so you want to do that more so you keep on doing that that's why it's important to take the time to know how to connect with the weaker body parts so then you start enjoying training them too and then they're going to come up before we started this cycle uh, i was finishing up the previous one started concentrating on my legs by the end of second month, I, I started enjoying the process yeah. and my, my legs started responding to yeah. it. But that's the thing, is like next month when we do legs, you're still going to enjoy them. So, you know, the more food is going to respond, but it's not the focus right now. They're going to be, we're going to like, as we evolve and you complete the upper body, because we want to do men's physique show, as we complete your upper body, you're going to start shifting toward your lower body to prepare for classic physique. <laughs> I only feel it here. Yeah, you're too tired. You're not using the right. You, you build up the pump, and then when the pump reaches your maximum, and you start losing it, that's you know that's it. That's the sign you should stop. Stop. Go home. Go eat. Rest. There's no point of keep going. That's what uh, a lot of professionals agree on, actually. When they talk about this training process, they they say the same thing. When you start feeling it, you gotta quit. You gotta stop. And uh, amateurs, us. Mostly, we don't do it. Like, well, I have this planned out, so I gotta do it. No, motherfucker, sometimes I gotta stop. <laughs> so that's it for today. That's it for today, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. It was episode two. Body starts responding, and that's a good sign. I'm, I'm almost got back to what I uh, finished with previous training cycle. Yeah. So, uh, and it, it's just been like 10, 10, uh, 10 days of training, basically. We haven't basically. even started, like, the food. Yeah. Right now, I'm letting him, like, just eat. I want to build up his appetite. 
so I want him to eat just when he's hungry and nothing crazy like you know I'm gonna get more into, into details about the nutrition soon probably the next time but um, right now I'm not trying to push any food we're gonna you know have him focus on his body parts start to get his appetite up and up for next month next month we're gonna go start really pushing everything putting the whole body push more food and accelerate more so leave me in comments down below what you want us to talk about, what, what you're interested in, what you want us to cover. And next time we'll try to cover that stuff. Yeah, if you have any questions, I don't know if I'm always very clear, because we talk also off camera, so for me there's some things I've explained to him already, so it, it seems like, you know, it makes sense, he already knows, but maybe for you it doesn't necessarily like make complete sense, so don't hesitate to ask us, I mean, ask him and he'll uh, ask me again next time. <laughs> Stenimal, link on his IG uh, in description below, follow the guy, he knows nice. tons of shit <laughs> and he's the right person to follow. Thank you. Not fitness models, this guy is the real deal right here. <laughs> Thanks.